Welcome back to our Reddit World channel, today we will be looking at What was the dumbest thing you got punished for at school? Two kids got into a fist fight and I was given a detention because I was in close proximity to them when the fight started. They even told the teacher I had nothing to do with it, but she didn't listen. I've always referred to it as the proximity detention. Should have sent someone else to serve it for you, then you could have detention by proxy. String cheese. Amazingly, my kindergarten teacher never knew about this incredibly common food. So she kept me in for recess because I was playing with my string cheese. I'm not going to bite into it like a barbarian Mrs. Harris. Back in middle I never got in trouble, except for this one time when I got my work done faster than everyone else, so I got sent to detention because the teacher thought I wasn't doing anything. The funny thing is when I arrived, even the administrator watching the detention students had a shocked look on their face because they would have never expected me in there. They ended up just telling me to go back to class 30 minutes later. I recognize that. At our basic school, my math was very good, brag, we had a national math test to determine which level middle school you go to. I had zero errors, with only a handful of kids nationwide. So the teacher wrote the questions on the chalkboard and I wrote down the answer straight away. So when he was done, I was ready, but the rest of the class just started. What else was I to do but look outside? Teacher got angry at me for not doing anything, but Jay showed him I was done already. He aggressively checked my answers, only to find I made no mistakes. Untucked my shirt after school was over. A teacher once told me I looked at her funny in elementary school and my parents got a phone call saying that I had been rude to a teacher. I still, at 31 years old, have no idea what the fuck I did to piss this teacher off. I apparently ate carrots too loudly, got detention for eating. How are you even supposed to eat carrots quietly, gently gum at them? Take tiny nibbles like a mouse. Swallow it whole. Number. Get that image out of my head. Stop. Stop. Trading Pokemon cards in 8th grade. It was considered gang activity. Any group that had 5 or more people was considered a gang and banned. School was dumb. In first grade me and my friends got in trouble for trading trash packs because according to teachers it could lead to problems if an unfair trade occurs. All trash packs were then banned. Also I'm really not sure if trash packs were as popular around the world as they were at my school, but basically they're small rubber figurines that had different rarities that you would trade with your friends. I sharpen my pencil at the same time as somebody else. What were you thinking? You're lucky that you're still alive. I know, it was reckless behavior and I should count my blessings for surviving it. A guy in my chemistry class was making fun of people reading, he said books were stupid. I said, well, that's fair if the only thing you've read was the pokey little puppy got pulled into the assistant principal's office the next day. I was told that just because you think something doesn't mean you have to say it. I still wonder how that comment escalated so fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That book is a gem. You take that back. Someone sneezed and I said bless you. Disrupting class one hour detention. Sharpened a crayon in a pencil sharpener in first grade. Lost recess and the principal called my mom. Mom was not amused, 
yelled at the principal for interrupting her work day for a minor offense, said that sharpening a crayon was hardly the first step towards juvenile delinquency. Sharpens crayon this kid has a horrible life ahead of them. I got suspended for not coming to school. Like that. That's what I wanted. In high school we had a uniform. This uniform included the color of, among other things, jumpers, socks and even shoelaces. Now my high school was in a bit of a strange place I guess. It was near both very wealthy and very poor areas, along with the usual amount of regular wealth. If you didn't wear the right colors for your uniform, you got an E8. An E8 was a detention for the most of lunchtime, so named after the room where you sat in silence as punishment. Here in Australia, our winters are very mild compared to elsewhere. This means I don't need to own a wardrobe full of jumpers, coats and jackets. I was also poor in growing up, so I owned about two, one of which was much warmer than the other. Pretty much every day during winter in year 9, I got an E8 for wearing a jumper that wasn't the right color. I never told the teachers why, it was really embarrassing. Thing was, I simply just never went to the detentions. Which causes escalation. I got given more detentions, which I did not attend. They threatened to call my mum about it, which was exactly what I wanted. After that phone call, where my mum ripped that teacher to shreds on for punishing me for trying to keep warm, I never got another E8 again. I would like to say that because of me the E8s stopped, but they didn't. DLDR, wore wrong colored jumper during winter, my mum tore a teacher and you asshole over the phone. I've been waiting 29 years to tell this story. I was in kindergarten and my teacher had brought out a brand new, giant, cork board that we were all super excited about, because she said she'd be pinning all of our art to it. Then she leaned it against the wall near her desk, and then snack time, recess quickly replaced any thought in a five-year-old's mind about art boards and cork bullshit. Later that day I was called over to the desk by my teacher and the classroom assistant and asked to write my name on a piece of paper. I did as instructed. This turned out to be a mistake, but these assholes didn't tell me what was going on, so I had no reason to protest. I innocently awaited an explanation as to why I had been pulled from my construction paper and paste masterpiece. As it had transpired, some other five-year-old dickhead that was not me had written my name on this corkboard. I don't know why. I'll never know why. All I know is that everyone involved failed to take into account that all five-year-olds write exactly the same and tricking me into writing my name on a piece of paper proved only that I could spell my own goddamn name. I was sent to the office because I wouldn't admit that I had done it. Because I hadn't done it. My mom later tricked me into admitting otherwise by lying and saying she'd been walking past the classroom just then and saw me do it. I thought, well fuck, if my mom saw me I must have done it. It never occurred to me to ask just why exactly she had been there. I trusted her implicitly. It would be the last time. And because of that little bit of motherly betrayal, I was press ganged into collecting pieces of trash around the kindergarten playground during next day's snack time. I'm still bitter about this. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe or you will have a bad dream.